soulmate bought me a new car. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. My soulmate hasn't sent anything. I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. Is that? He did not. So does he want you to wear them, or? I don't know, but that's the first thing he had to send me. It's kind of romantic. Yeah, real good first impression. Maybe he's just kidding. Ah! Oh, you love Sugar Free. Yeah, except that it's open and empty. Oh. Uh, maybe he just got thirsty. He's giving me the worst things he can find. Okay, they're not that bad. I haven't even met him and I'm already over him. Oh, good. Now he's trying to tell me that I smell. That's a nice gift. I know. I'm just kidding. I've been trying to piss off my soulmate all day. I sent an empty can. Um, don't you hate him? Yeah, I do. So this weekend I went to my first ever rave, which is why I was missing for three days. I was not okay mentally, physically, nothing. I tried to post, but TikTok did not like my outfits and the video was processing for 15 hours. So here's a recap of me and Maddie at EDC this weekend. We're starting off strong with the Hanging Swings ride. This was so fun and it was the only ride that we got onto. The view was so beautiful and the lights, wow. This is me pushing Maddie on an egg chair. I don't know why I took this video, but I did. So we definitely didn't know how to rave, but we sure tried our best. This stage is insane. I don't even know how to process what is happening here. Here's Hope going down the stairs dressed as a purple Teletubby. I honestly just thought this was funny. We went to go see Excision. Hope was so excited. It was so cute. And we got near the front. The visuals are just crazy. I don't know how to describe this festival, but crazy. It was so fun. Huh? What? Oh, my Instagram story? Yeah, my cat died. How'd she die? Um, it's, like, not that big of a deal. Basically, I was hanging out with my best friend. And, like, I came back from the bathroom. And she was, like holding my cat out the window like over the ledge on like the two-story balcony and I was like what are you doing and then she was like I hate your cat and I was like okay and then she dropped my cat like from the balcony and like poor little snuffles like didn't make it to the ground like I thought cats landed on four legs but like I guess not but like it's okay because I forgive her I mean I'm sure she didn't mean to and like I thought they landed on four legs so, like I guess she did too but like it's totally fine like it's no big deal Oh, I had that cat since I was, like, a baby. But I can just get a new one, you know? There's always animals in need at PetSmart. Yeah. What? Oh. About that. Yeah, she did um, have sex with my boyfriend. But I forgive her, because if they're happy, then I'm happy for them. And it's okay. Basically, my dad was invited to his yacht party. Wanna go? Okay, first of all, you're just telling me that your dad is rich. And second of all, yes, I want to go on a yacht party. <laughs> all right, I was just making sure. So, when did we go? Um, I kind of can't get you in. What do you mean you can't get me in? Why would you tell me that if you can't get me in? Technically, only I'm invited, but I have a plan. What? You kind of have to dress up as a waitress. You you want me to dress up as a waitress? Uh, yeah. Okay. You better be hot. Go put this on. Okay. Damn. Okay, go around the back. I'll see you there. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You gotta figure that out. Bye. Bitch. Hi, I'm a waitress. Oh, alright. Go right in. Okay. That was really easy. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, don't even worry about it. Hi. Hi? Wait, does this mean... Yeah, I think it does. Okay, so at least all of that was actually for something? I cannot believe you put up with me for so long. So, uh, what are we supposed to do now? Honestly, I am not really sure. You don't have any ideas? <laughs> Can I tell you something? What? My counter just went up. Okay, and? I don't know, I was just excited. You haven't smiled in a while. Shut up. Are you blushing? You know, you are a lot, but I am glad that you're my soulmate. You are annoying, but I'm glad you're mine too. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? I don't know, you look happy. I don't know, maybe I am. I really love you, Bailey. <gasps> he smiled! So everyone has been freaking out over this Lily Rose Depp filter. It's making me look a little bit insane. So I'm gonna try to recreate this because I really want this to be actually on my face and not a filter. I'm gonna do my ba- oh. I'm doing my base as I normally would because it was mostly eye makeup and the lips. 
I finished my base and I can see that there is a heavy bronze shade on the lid, so we're gonna start with that. It was pretty smoky, so I'm going for smoky. Now deepen up the outer corner for some dimension. Now create a wing going from the outer corner of your eye. And now connect it onto the lid, also the inner corner. We're gonna follow the inner corner of our eye and draw a small little line here. Now connect it underneath. Now with a pencil fill in your waterline and smoke out the wing up here to make it a little less clean. Time for the reveal. This is with the filter on. It looks crazy. <laughs> and this is with a filter off. I think I did a good job. This is just a lot of eye makeup. <laughs> okay, I hope I've met him before. Oh, he probably doesn't even know who I am. Okay, girl, I have some tea. What's up? I think Josh is my soulmate. Really? How do you know? When he said my name to me, my count <laughs> went up. Any news from your soulmate? No, my soulmate said my name one time, and it was probably an accident. Maybe it's your crush, Ricky. It's obviously not him. He's never spoken to me before. Well, it looks like he's about to. He's coming over. What? Hey, you guys. How are you doing? Hey, Ricky. I like your feet. I mean, toes. I mean, shoes. Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, I just remembered I have homework to do. Bye, Bailey. Okay, yeah. Literally what just happened... Don't. I don't want to hear it. I know. That was so embarrassing. You can say that again. Wait. Did he say my name at the end? I don't know. Why? I swear he did. Thanks. He has a cat? I mean, she's kind of cute or whatever. Um, where did you get the cat? Uh, my soulmates. Girl, aren't you allergic to them? Yeah, severely. I want my dog back. I'm not even a cat person. Then you need to find your soulmate, and fast. How am I supposed to find him? You should put up lost cat flyers. I don't know. I kind of want to keep her. You can't keep your soulmate's cat. Fine, I'll put up an ad. Excuse me. Yes? Is she your cat? Uh, yeah, she's my cat. I think I've seen her before. <sighs> That's weird. I wonder why. Oh, I know. She looks exactly like my son's cat, Kiwi. Your son? Yeah, but I must be mistaken. Sorry. Wait, does he have a dog? Uh, yeah, his soulmate has a golden retriever. You must be the self-appointed queen bee. Interesting thing about bees. Pull out their stingers and they drop dead. I'm so excited. I can't wait for us to grow old together. Me too. I love you, babe. I'll still live longer. Yeah, yeah, you always say that. All the Red Bulls you drink are gonna kill you. I got 2089. <sighs> Beat you. I got 2091. You know, we should do more exciting things. Let's live while we can. That sounds like a great idea. Let's have some fun. <laughs> God, you're just my favorite person ever. That was so fun. That hill was huge. Who knew you were so good at skiing? <laughs> Come on, let's go get some hot chocolate. Uh, babe, I just want to tell you, um, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, babe, I would say the same for you. So what's with the random burst of affection? Just felt lovey today. Well, I love you. I love you too. Are you okay? Babe! Babe! Getting two million followers can't be that hard. I'll just, like, twerk or something. Sis, how do you already have 20,000 followers? Um, because I'm hot, unlike you. At least my personality is in, like, a cardboard box. This is definitely gonna go viral. Post. Oh, I wonder how many followers I got. Two! That's not fair, I spent an hour getting ready. The makeup you put on can't fix all the ugly on your face. <gasps> I think you broke my nose! You know what? You deserved it. Bitch. I'm never gonna get famous. Yo, you're the girl from that video, right? What? That punch you threw was fucking crazy. How do you know about that? It's all over World Star, duh. No way. Yeah, they posted it oh. on Barstool too. Oh! Excuse me, you dropped this. Oh, thank you. Wait, this isn't my hat. Uh, just keep it. I think it'll look great on you. Whoa, caught me off guard there. I've never seen you in a hat. It's not mine. Some random old lady gave it to me. It kind of looks cute on you. You're pregnant? No, I, uh, how did you know? I didn't tell anyone. Um, I don't know. I just kind of knew. Please don't tell mom and dad. I haven't said anything. I won't. What are you doing right now? Uh, not much, really. Why? 
Come over. Okay, I'll be there in a few. Okay, great. Hey, what's going on? This little old lady gave me this hat, and I think it tells me everyone's biggest secret. Whoa, slow down. What are you talking about? Test it on me so you know if it really works. Okay. I don't even know what my secret would be. Get out. What? Get the fuck out of my house. Oh, Mom, do you think you could make me some pancakes? I'm so hungry. Bailey, can you please come downstairs? Hello? I am right in front of you. Bailey, your breakfast is going to get cold. So you're just going to give me the silent treatment like I'm five? Rose, have you seen your sister? Uh, no. Sis, can you tell Mom that I'm literally right here? Huh? Maybe she went to work early this morning. What is going on? Hello? I'll just try to call her. They can't see me. Whatever, I'm just going to go to work. Guys, please tell me I'm not a cashier today. I can't do it. Has anyone seen Bailey? She's supposed to be here. It's everyone? What am I supposed to do? This is my only way to make money. I am literally dirt poor. You're not the only one going through this. You can see me? Yep, and nobody else can see me except you. Okay, I'm confused. I think I know what's going on. Follow me. Okay. Happy 10th birthday, honey. Thanks. Can I have presents now? Of course. This is yours. But I don't even wear hats. It's a special hat that's going to lead you to your soulmate. Never lose it. Okay, I won't lose it. Why are you always wearing that stupid hat? I just like it. Why? Because I bet you're bald under there and you're just wearing a hat wig. Seriously, can't you go one day without it? No, I don't take it off. Ever. I can take it off for you. No, don't touch my hat. Too late. Give it back. Not until you tell me why you're wearing it. It's none of your business. Can you just give me the hat back? No, I told you my terms. You have to follow them. On. No. She told you to give the hat back. Okay, jeez. Here you go. Thanks. So let me get this straight. Zach is your little brother? Yeah, um, unfortunately, he is. Does that mean that you can get my can back? I can try to help you, but he is rarely ever at the house. Well, where does he go? To his girlfriends. He practically lives with her. I can't believe anyone would date him. And how do you look like that and he looks like a rat? Well, he's a half-brother. We have different dads. That makes sense. I'll help you get it back under one condition. Okay, what condition? You have to go on a date with me. <laughs> that seems like a win-win. I'm in. Meet me at this address after school. We'll get it. Okay. Okay, my brother's room is right here. Are you ready to go in? I'm ready. Three, two, one! Zach, give her her oxygen can back. Yeah, give it back. You guys are too late. I don't have it anymore. What do you mean? Where did my can go? I sold it for so much money. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey, sis, can I borrow the sweater you just bought? You can't ask that when I'm about to... Okay, great. I'm going to take that as a yes then. Thanks. Honestly, it looks better on me anyway. Hey, uh, that's rude. Hey, are you going to Jake's party tonight? Wait, but how many hours until you can speak again? Oh, five's not that bad. Bailey, I heard your boyfriend's going to the party tonight. I can't wait to see him again. I hate her. Don't listen to that idiot. Your boyfriend would never go for her. Girl, is your timer almost up? You are no fun right now. Yeah, let's go get another drink. <gasps> what are you doing here? It is not what it looks like. I swear to you. You're fucking cheating on me? I told you that you needed to watch your man. Don't you dare say anything, you bitch. I can't believe that you would do this to me. She blackmailed me into it. A background character? Really? I couldn't even have been a side one? I'm so glad I'm a main character. I'm a background character in your story? I'm your sister. Don't look at me, it's not my fault. By the way, I'm throwing a party tonight since mom's gone. You got caught the last time you did that. That just means I won't get caught again. Okay, but I'm not responsible for anything, nor was I involved. What are you doing here? You're a background character. I live here. This party's only for main characters. Can you leave? No, fuck you. Yo, can someone get this girl out of here? She's being annoying. Why are you yelling at my sister? She, she's your sister. Mm-hmm. 
I- I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I really didn't know. Well, it's too late. That's harsh. And your friends are always mean to me. I'm done with it. Bailey and Lucas, we need to get you guys out of here. Now. What? Why? Don't ask. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Can someone tell us what's going on? Her mark is orange. Yeah, I know. Her mark is orange. What's the big deal? Orange is evil and all-powerful. What? Why do more and more marks keep appearing? I thought there were only a couple. There's rare marks that only a few people have, and one of them is orange. She can change all marks except for blue. Blue has power over her. That's why she was trying to take mine? She wanted the power from you. What the... You guys don't need to worry. We'll get rid of her. Get rid of her? What do you mean? We can erase her mark for good. This is all so confusing. Miss me? You won't have that blue mark for much longer. Now I know you can't actually take my mark. No, I can't. But I can make myself purple. What? No, don't do that. Guess who's your assistant now? Hey, is this seat taken? Oh, no, it's not. Go ahead. Are you just sitting here by yourself? Well, I was waiting for my friends, but it kind of looks like they ditched me. Well, I can be your friend if that helps. Thanks. Thanks for your number. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you, too. I totally forgot about that. At least he's tall. Bitch, I met the cutest guy at the country club this morning. Oh, my gosh. Really? Where did you find him? No, he just came up and started talking to me. I was like, hey, everyone, I'm Mr. Nichols. I'll be your new teacher this year. Is something wrong? No. Huh. Dude, it's always the English teachers. Why is he kind of cute? Yeah, I guess. So, about the guy? The who, what? what a- um. The guy, yeah, he was super cute. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Hey, ladies. Huh. Hi. Hi! Whoa, no need to yell. What's the big deal? He is the most disgusting man I've ever met. The literal scum of the earth. Jeez. You have to tell me what he said to you. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing important. You still didn't tell me why you gave me fake money. Oh, because I needed to get rid of all of it. What? I was given fake money during a deal. I can't keep it. So you give it to me? I could have gone to jail. Okay, well, you didn't go to jail, so... Can I have the real money, then? Definitely not. Why? Because soulmates are stupid and not even real. Figure it out. Hi, what did you say about that payment plan earlier? Are you gonna try to give us more fake money? No, I'm not. It looks like your soulmate already paid a million, so yours is only two now. Wait, what? Excited for your first day of the new school? No, not at all. Well, that's not a very good attitude. You know I'm not ready to go back to school after what happened. I understand, but you have to go. It's not up to me. I know. Class, class, please settle down. Everyone welcome our new student, Bailey. Hi. Boo! Go home! You can have a seat next to Ryan in the back. Hey, what's up? I'm Ryan. I'm Bailey. So, why is your heart meter so low? Is that seriously the first thing you're going to ask me? Yeah, but I was just curious. I want to be friends. Well, I'm not looking for friends, so... Hey, look who it is. My best friend's back. You're not going to give up, are you? No, I have never given up on anything. It's not like anyone else is going to want to be your friend. Excuse me? Please, please be something cute. Bartholomew. Someone actually named their kid Bartholomew. I don't know what to do. It says that my soulmate's name is Ryan. Wait, like the Ryan that we know? I think so, but I can't even talk to him. No way. He's so hot. You're not listening, but what's yours? I don't want to talk about mine. Hmm? Class, because of your behavior, everyone will get an assigned seat. (sighs) What? I don't want to sit away from you. Bailey, you can go have a seat with Jesse. Who's Jesse? Um, I'm Jesse. Hey. Hi. Why the hell does your hair look like that? Excuse me? Why does your face look like that? What, like a Greek god? I don't know. Can I sit next to someone else? No, seats are final. Looks like you're stuck over here with me. Unfortunately. Are you new or something? I have never seen you before. Are you kidding me? I've been here for four years. What? I knew you were an ass. You didn't change from last summer. 69 cents? Of course it's 69. Honey, are you kidding me? You're basically worthless. 
and yours is a million dollars? Then how did I get 69 cents? It's probably because I'm just better than you. Get a job and fix it or I'm kicking you out. What? But mom, it's not my fault. I don't care if it's not your fault. That's so embarrassing. Get a job or you're sleeping on the street. Fine. Hi, um, are you guys hiring? Do you have any previous work experience? Um, no. Then no, we're not hiring. Wait, please, I really, really need a job. I'll hire you under one condition. Okay, what condition? You need to be my little brother's date to the prom. What? Please, he's a loser and no one will go with him. Okay, I'll do it. Perfect, then you're hired. He's right here, by the way. Hey, I'm Tate. Hi. Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks. She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't want to know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. <sighs> I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it, too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the f I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm gonna throw up. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to how to contour your face for dummies, because I am shaped like a dumpling. Keep me up all night. Okay, anyway. I use the Hula Caramel Bronzer. It's probably way too dark for me, but I fake tan, so like, eh. I'm gonna take an angled brush and get some on there. Not too much, though. Angle the brush down so the bigger part is down, and then just go up. Only go up and do it in upward motions. I'm getting it in my hair, but like, that's part of the fun. I keep putting more on because you can't see it, but I can't tell if it's a beauty filter. Do the same on this side. Now we go under the jawline like this and make sure to blend it out because otherwise it'll look like you have a beard and I have definitely done that a few times. And then blend some right on the edge here, not like a three, but just to kind of connect it so you don't look literally insane. Oh, also on the forehead, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> I've been contouring my nose different recently. I'm just doing the tip like that and like making it a button nose, yeah, <laughs> done. Okay, now it really cannot be worse than yesterday. <laughs> That doesn't seem bad, like, at all. <laughs> morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. I'm going to school. Love you guys. We don't love you. You're adopted. What? I, I don't know why I said that. We didn't mean to tell you like that. Okay. Are you okay? No, not really. I don't even care anyway. I don't like being your friend. Uh, bitch. I don't regret saying that. Mary, does this top look good on me? No. Green makes you look like a whale. Uh, a cute whale. Huh? We have a new seating arrangement. Bailey, you're in the front so I can stare at you. Did you really just say that? Uh, I meant because you're such a good student. Babe, I've been looking for you. What's going on? You love me, right? No, I was actually just dating you so I could get with your stepsister. My stepsister? She was stuck in the walking machine. I can be adopted by a billionaire or a baker. Hey, what does billionaire mean? It must be someone who has like a billion friends. Wow, okay. Oh my, why have they given me a clearance child? And what are you wearing? I don't know. Go put this on this instant. This seems fancy. Yes, well, it's better than the Walmart clothes you're wearing. Much better. And this is our butler, Gerald. He'll take care of whatever you want. You have to get me anything I ask for? Yes, miss, that's right. Can I have an electric guitar? Yes, I will get on that right now. Here you go, one electric guitar. Sweet, thank you. So, what do you do for a job? Uh, I run a very big business. What kind of business? This is not bonding time. You don't need to know. I will not answer any personal questions about myself. Now go sit down for dinner. The private chef has made a five-course meal. And we're back because you guys want to know how to do the freckles, but I must warn you, it is very, very simple. <laughs> so I use this Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. I also use this for my eyebrows. So there you go if you wanted to know. <laughs> this is so boring. I literally go like this. Like, I kind of- okay, so don't just dab it. I go down and twist. Because if you go like this, the product will deposit better onto your face. Because if you just go like this, it doesn't come off. 
So I just rotate my hand. You see how I'm like flicking it? Do that. And I do it all over. <laughs> Make sure they're not sparse. I try to put a lot. Sometimes they're better than others, but if you make them sparse, it's gonna look super fake. I mean, it looks fake either way, but this makes it look better. Okay, now that I've done that, I put on my blush and I put it like on my cheekbone. I don't put it on the apple on my cheek because it lifts the face. And a little on the nose. Highlight. <laughs> done. Hey guys, I'm not in the mood to make POVs right now, so here's a story time. Yesterday, I was going to Target, I'm in a dorm, I have to cross the street, whatever. I'm standing there, waiting to cross, there's a man and his son, which I didn't find out until after, but he's kind of like looking at me, like the dad is looking at me, and I'm like, what? Because it's not like I was dressed like thotty body, like little baby hooker, I was wearing a sweatshirt and jeans, like ready to go to Target and get some coffee, and it, he keeps looking at me and then he turns and he's like i don't mean like any disrespect like i don't mean to be rude but you're so beautiful and i was like oh like thank you like i appreciate a compliment he was then he started saying like yeah like what do you think like i don't think it's rude to just compliment a woman like saying that she's beautiful and then he was like yeah my son has a girlfriend but he won't do it and he was like well what do you think and i was like uh i don't know but like he was literally missing a tooth one no disrespect if you're missing a tooth but he was like 55 and I'm 18, like what? Okay, I just delivered the case. Now we need you to go to a party. You'll need to change your appearance to something more... Elegant? More like flirtatious. Okay, Maya. That's the guy over there. You need to get his key card. I'm on it. Okay, I'm in. Okay, the code on his key card should unlock the computer. You need to download the file named Project X. But hurry, because you only have a few minutes. Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <gasps> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait! I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're gonna force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I gotta get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it, knew I should've went with John. She's a blue, get her. Hey, you really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually it was my friend's idea, but- Quiet, that was a rhetorical question. Now we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, Dad. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? <laughs> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened and I need your help. Ow, my head. Go on, try it. It takes about two hours for it to kick in. What? <gasps> They're the ones that made me dumb. How could they? Well, look who's finally awake. We had to do it, honey. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I have two delinquent parents that don't realize what they're doing is actually very wrong and most definitely illegal. All right, that's it. Time for you to take the dummy gummies. <sighs> Let go. There you go. Yep, keep chewing. <sighs> that's right. <laughs> Stop it. Let go. You're staying home from school today. The gummies will kick in soon. Come on, let's go. I have to find a way out of here before all my brain cells disappear. Wait, I know I have a bobby pin in my pocket. I could use this to pick the lock. <laughs> bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? 
Madeline? Madeline, are you in here? <gasps> Teacher! When you didn't come in for class today, I just knew something was wrong. My parents locked me up in here because they don't like me, I fear. Ow! <gasps> Your parents have been feeding you these. I knew it. They're very dangerous. Madeline, I think I know a way that can help you, but you have to trust me. Ew, brother, ew. This gummy will make you smarter than you were before. Boyfriend, I'm nervous. If you don't eat it, you could go brain dead. KK. Yes, good. Madeline will be back. Hey, what's your teacher doing here? Stand back, teacher. What's going on, huh? What do you think you're gonna do? Every child deserves a parent, but not every parent deserves a child. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the heck? You're going to let Miss Lavender adopt me, and you're never going to bother me again. Is that okay with you, Miss Lavender? Yes, that's okay with me. Okay, okay. Just put us down, you little freak. We'll sign the adoption papers right now. That's what I thought. <sighs> Gosh, oh my gosh how did she do she that has powers oh my god mad no no honey we're not mad we're just a little shocked no hurt what no no one's gonna hurt you those bad men that you were telling me about did they hurt you mom it's probably because of her powers that's horrible don't worry we're gonna keep you safe here so can you do anything else honey lift heavy can you show us what you mean Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, all right. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Sissy, you you haven't talked all morning. Are you okay? Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. We have to get out of here, Maisie. Huh? But we just got adopted. Maisie, come with me, darling. I have ice cream. <gasps> ice cream! Your sister will be fine, but your father wants to speak to you now. Go on. He's in his office. There she is. Please, take a seat. I think I'll stand, thanks. Why is there a gun on the table? Well, I was gonna teach you how to use it. No need. You're brave. I like it. You tell me why you killed that man last night right now because I was under the impression that mafia bosses were supposed to be nice. Nice? <laughs> Whoever told you that must not have liked you very much. You see, my wife and I's job is very secretive, so because of that we gotta be... Ow! ...tough. But I'm always gonna have a soft spot for my girls. 
We are not your girls. My sister and I are leaving this place and we are never coming back. Oh boy. Listen, kid, I'm really sorry you had to see that last night, but I promise I'm no. gonna- No. Goodbye, Mr. Stefano. We will get adopted by someone else. Not so fast. Don't you want to know the truth about your real parents? What? What if I told you the plane crash they died in was all a hoax? Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying! No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me! No! Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William! His last heart... it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... you die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me! You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share! <gasps> William! Elizabeth! They're trying to change my future! Why are you looking at me like that? I heard what you guys were saying. Oh yeah, what did we say? That you were gonna try and sabotage our parents' wedding, and I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm sorry. Things have been rough since our mom passed. We shouldn't have said- Hey, it's okay. I understand. Things have been pretty hard for me too. Your dad passed away, huh? Yeah. We shouldn't have tried to plot against you. How about we call it a truce, okay? Hey, wanna play a game? Okay. Cool, let's say our biggest fears. You go first. Mine is snakes. Oh, you don't like snakes, huh? Interesting. This is what you get for spying on our conversation. Sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, breakfast is ready. <gasps> a fake snake, really? We're sorry, Daddy. We were just playing. We didn't mean any harm. You're grounded. Sophia, please accept my apology gift. You got her a puppy? Yes, and I hope it makes up for the scare you two caused her. Thank you, your majesty. Of course. She gets a puppy and we get grounded? So not fair. Well, I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it said dress? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe- This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them, and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover, and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. 
Let go! Get in my car! I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me, but if I'm gonna let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, girl, relax. She's a friend. All right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom! Isn't that symbol the same one that- Cover that up. What? But why would I need to- Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you are to simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals his symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? My soulmate controls my hand or my clothes. I've heard some weird stories about people who chose hands, so I'm gonna go with clothes. Please pick me something good. A party dress? I have school today, so there's no way I'm wearing... This is some sort of joke, right? I'm not wearing this to school. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove their outfit. Hey guys, look at what this girl is wearing. Sweetie, prom's not till next month. <laughs> that is not school appropriate. Detention. But I didn't choose to wear this. My soulmate made me. Too bad. Excuse me, are you okay? I'm so mad at my soulmate. I can't take this outfit off and I already got detention for it. And I'm freezing. Here, take my jacket. Thanks. What clothes would you want your soulmate to pick for you? I don't know, like jeans and a t-shirt. 
Today, I swear he better not. Those are the clothes that I told to that guy. Did everyone get their compass? What? No, I didn't get my compass. Here you go. Why do I have a compass? It's to help you find your soulmate. Whichever direction it's pointing in is the direction your soulmate's in. If it starts dinging, they're close. If it dings rapidly, you found them. What if your soulmate's in a different country? Then I suppose you'll have to walk very far. <laughs> this is never going to work. It says my soulmate's west. Let's go. Where's your compass? Are you not trying to track your soulmate? What's the point? I highly doubt my soulmate is anywhere close. <gasps> it was your compass! Where is he? It's pointing east. Let's go. It's pointing north. It just took me in a circle. What in the world? I quit. This thing is broken or something. That was true, Dings. That means you're getting closer. Hands or hair? You have to choose what your soulmate can control. Hmm. I'll choose hands. No. He could do weird things with his hands. Okay. I'll choose hair then. Hey, guys! Brianna, what happened to your hair? You need to look at this. <sighs> I look like Cindy Lou Who. Why would you do your hair like that? It's my soulmate. He's allowed to control my hair. Aw, Brianna, your hair looks so cute today. I look ridiculous. Why can't my soulmate choose a normal hairstyle for once? Brianna, you need to take your hair out. It's distracting to the rest of the class. I can't take it out. My soulmate chose it. All right, then. Come with me to the principal's office. Principal Stevens, this student refuses to take her hair out, even when it's distracting to the rest of the class. Wow, that's a really nice hairstyle. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Wait, don't forget to put your blindfold on. The monsters can only see you if you can see them. Of course. How could I forget? Honey? Yes, Mother? It's your little sister's first day of kindergarten. She's never been out before. Look after her, okay? Of course. I promise. Sissy, make sure you're holding my hand and don't let go. I can't see. I'm taking this off. No, don't. It's okay. I know the way blindfolded. I'll guide you. No, I want it off. Sissy? Sissy, do you have your blindfold on? Sissy? I can't hear you! Hello? Everyone put on your headphones too. Brianna, you're late. Where were you? My sister's gone. There you are. Sissy? That's not her. How many breaths did you get today? Only 40,000. I won't have enough to buy anything today. That's too bad. Save your breaths as much as possible. I got one million breaths today. I'm rich! No way. What are you going to buy? I was thinking maybe a Gucci bag. Wow. What about you? How many do you have? I only have 39,000 breaths today. I can't waste this. Hey, hey you, come here. Do you want more breaths? Yeah, I would. Then buy this. It's unlimited breaths. Brianna, stay away from sketchy Steve. He's always trying to sell his weird inventions. Come on. You're back. I'd like to buy the breath tank. It'll be 37,000 breaths. I only have 38,000. All right. If you don't want unlimited breaths, then... Okay, I'll buy it. Everyone can hear your thoughts, or you can hear everyone's thoughts. I can hear everyone's thoughts. People cannot know what I'm thinking. Hey, baby. Her mom is so much hotter than her. You think my mom is hotter than me? What? No, why would you say that? Her mother is the love of my life. I'd marry her mother if I was given the chance. 
Jason, we are over. Here's your test back, Brianna. You failed again. What? I failed again? I'm failing her on purpose. You've been failing me on purpose. Brianna, no throwing paper. Go to detention. I heard you broke up with your boyfriend. That's so sad. It's not sad. Yeah, it is. Let's go out on a date tonight. It will cheer you up. This is how I lure in all my victims. She's next. Why did you seem so shocked after hearing that number? No reason. I'm just so shocked that my boyfriend's gone from me so soon. And why are you covering your neck? Oh, it's nothing. My neck is just a little cold. You're acting really guilty right now, Brianna. Oh, would you look at that? It's my turn to eliminate a number. My options are 8631. That's little sissy. 1161. 4632. Yeah, my number's 4632. So don't choose that one, okay? Prove it to me. Show me your neck so I won't choose that one. I just want to be sure. No, I don't really see the need for that. They're doing two number eliminations at once? What numbers did they give you? 1678, 3214, 5787. Oh no. Are any of those your numbers? Uh, maybe. Well, you should probably stop hiding your numbers so that I don't accidentally choose it. Fine, we'll show each other our numbers at the same time. Ready? Want to go on a date tonight? Sure, that'd be fun. No! Don't date him! So anyways, I'll pick you up at- You're not picking her up at any time because you're not going on a date with her! Fine! We're not going on a date then! Sophie, why would you be mean to Jake? You just scared him off and we were gonna go on a date later. Trust me, it's for your own good. What do you mean it's for my own good? You're just jealous of me! Jealous of you? Yeah, because no guys like you. Ouch, that hurt. Sophie, I'm sorry. I was just trying to protect you. Don't talk to me ever again. Dad! Dad, hey! Um... No way, you're alive! I haven't seen you since I was six! I thought something happened to you! I guess you don't remember the reason I left. I'm here to drop off lunch for my stepdaughter. Stepdaughter? Her name's Sophie. Do you know where she may be? Timmy, let's play! Mother, may I play with Timmy? You may. Yay! Okay, let's throw our stuffed animals at each other! Timmy, you need to ask... Mother, may I? Why do I need to ask too? She already said you could play with me. You still need to ask. No, I don't. <gasps> Timmy, Timmy, you did in fact need to ask. Mother, may I? Mother, may I say Timmy no? You may. Timmy no! Mother, may I go to school? You may, but you must get there within five minutes. <gasps> Mother? May I go to class? You may not. You may stand there. Babe, let's walk to class together. I can't. Mother won't let me. Why not? She's such a- Shh! You may not talk badly about Mother. Let me in! Let me in! We need to change the door closed. I have a bad feeling about tonight. Mom, is everything okay? Why don't you just open the door with your keys? I couldn't find my keys. But mom, don't you need your keys to drive? It's attached to your car keys, right? There was an accident with my car today. It's in getting fixed. And then I lost my keys. So many things happened today. You had a long day, mom. You should go and get some rest. Sweetie, where do we keep the knives? They haven't moved, mom. They're in the same place they always are. I'm sorry, I can't remember. My head's such a mess today. The top shelf. Why? What are you making? I'm not making anything. Sweetie, could you open the door? My key's not working. Mom? Why won't the door open? Mom, you should know you can't open the door because you chained it closed earlier. What? No, I didn't. Don't open the door. No guests allowed. Wait, if my mom's out there, then who's in my house? It's not yours, Brittany! <laughs> no, no, Brittany! I'm so sorry, baby. Can I please just explain what happened? Come here. Don't touch me. I don't belong to you anymore. Brianna, I love you. <laughs> Did you complete your assignment? Yeah. Once I give you this assignment, it no longer belongs to me and belongs to you from now on. Thank you. And I have your test grid. As soon as I hand you your test back, as soon as your fingers touch the paper, it no longer belongs to me. It belongs to you. Thank you. Brianna, where's your boyfriend? Why isn't he in class today? He's not in class today because he's gone. What? How? 
He tried to touch me when I didn't belong to him anymore. Why? What happened between you two? He cheated on me. You deserve so much better than him. Class is over. Why did the door just shut? What are we gonna do? We can't open it. The door doesn't belong to any of us. I got it. <laughs> Mommy, why whenever I hold onto an object, it says send to soulmate? That's because, honey, any object you touch, you can send to your soulmate, and he can send you any object he touches. I'm gonna send him Mr. Octopus. I'm never letting my soulmate send me anything ever again, and I'm never sending him anything. My soulmate sent me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Did your soulmate send you anything today? No, I haven't accepted anything from my soulmate since I was six. You should accept it. It might be something important. Yeah. A puzzle piece with an E on it. Oh, my soulmate's trying to send me something again. LP? He sent me E earlier. Maybe he's trying to say something. Yeah, like Lep or L. Pal. And why is there a puzzle piece with an H on it? Help! Okay, girl, like speaking from personal experience, this is not going to be easy for you. You're going to have no support system at home. And at school, you're going to be outcasted for being the pregnant high schooler. So you're saying you'll like be there for me? Uh, I mean, I, I can a little. I don't work off the clock. I barely work on the clock. You can hang out in here though. Aren't you like at least gonna like fire Mrs. Asman for like HIPAA violation of like a student? Yeah, I'm actually like not allowed to fire her because she's my mother. I've tried like 20 times, but the entire family gangs up on me because the last time she got fired, she went off the rails and kept waking up in places she didn't recognize and then joined the cartel in Mexico and- mm, What? Yeah, she's here for good. I, I can't fire her. Okay. So, like, who are you now? Oh, I'm the secretary. Principal Aspen had to step out for lunch. But she informed me that you're welcome to stay here for the rest of the day. All right, I'm just, like, gonna go in that corner and, like, have a mental breakdown. Have fun. I'm leaving. What? No! I, that was really wrong of me to say. I, I'm Willie Sawy. What? I'm completely in the wrong. Please forgive me. You're taking accountability for your actions and not blaming it on me? Nobody's ever done that before. Yeah, I'm not toxic. I can admit when I'm wrong. I've never been this attracted to someone in my life. The bare minimum is sexy. Kiss me. I need your lips. That was easy. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Zoe? Yeah, say my name. Zoe. Again? No, I'm trying to talk to you. Oh. Um... I do want to do it. Yay! I knew you'd get over the musty stairwell. No, I still don't want to do it in the musty stairwell. Oh. But we should do it. Soon. Tonight? Too soon. This evening? That is sooner than tonight. Okay. It was a severe global economic downturn that affected many countries throughout the- Um, I'm sorry. World? Hi. Um, I'm really sorry. Emma? You are 30 minutes late. I hope you were having a medical emergency. Um, you really shouldn't like tell your students that you hope they're having like a medical emergency. Like that's kind of messed up. So you were? I was, yeah. I was like, I was at the doctor having like a routine physical. Like my, my mom called. She did not. Okay, well she was like supposed to. That's not my fault if she's like a bad mom. Detention. Uh, no, oh my God. I, I can't like get her to call. I swear I was like at the doctor. Um, mom, Hello? my teacher is like giving me detention because you like didn't call. Yeah, you know what? I forgot. You're going to show up 30 minutes late to my class and then start making phone calls? One week of detention. Oh my god, mom, I'm literally like getting detention for life because of you. You shouldn't be blaming me for your problems, Emma. Where should I sit? You see that big boob blonde right there? Yeah, she loves Santa Claus. You should sit right next to her. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I do love big boobed blondes. I'm sure you do. I love Carmen. Okay, Casey, why don't you go next? Okay. No, no, there's a Santa's job. Let me get it for you. Ho, ho, here you go. Merry Christmas. Do you have something for Santa in return? Sorry, Santa. I'm a lesbian. Ho, ho, hot! 
Sam didn't know he was at a party with a bunch of lesbians. Okay, Casey, open your gift. I'm a dude. Oh, this is so cute. I don't even have to guess. I know exactly who this is from. Thank you, Secret Santa. You're welcome, Casey. You've been a very good girl this year. Will you shut up? Do not speak to Santa like that or I will put you on the naughty list. I bet you're already on the naughty list, huh? I think it's like my turn. Emma, um, you've been really quiet. Are you okay? Or is it just really awkward to be right next to someone you cheated on? <laughs> okay, I'm bored. I want it to be my turn. Oh, I'll look for yours for you. Okay. Um, I don't see it. Huh. I'm not seeing it either. Um, does anybody see my gifts? Wait, did nobody have me for their secret Santa? Okay, I'm like a little confused. So like, I got you like a secret Santa. You picked my name? Yeah, and I got you like a secret Santa. But now I'm starting to think that like I did it wrong. What do you mean you got me a secret Santa? Emma, who the hell is at the door? Your secret Santa.